All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about making transitions in and between your classes and how that can benefit you as a student. So transitions. Transitions happen two ways at school. So this is what this word means. In class, it's like when you're going from one activity to the next. Now, in our class, it's kind of like when you get out your devices at the beginning of the day. In math class, it might be like when you go from like correcting homework to working on a new assignment. In language arts, it might be from like from journaling to now doing a different lesson or get something out. Transition is when you shift from one thing to something else. So in class, going from one activity to the next. In between your classes, it's just going from one class to the next. And now I'm going to talk about the way to handle transitions that I think will benefit you the most in terms of you being successful at school. And the key is make them fast and make them quiet. Now, not just because it's the right thing to do, because there's nothing like morally right or wrong about being quiet or fast, but because it does benefit you the most when your transitions are fast and when they're quiet. So when you're going from one activity in a class to another, or one class to the next, it's really important that you are both quick quiet and respectful of other people's space. That means when you walk by someone else, leave their stuff alone. When you walk by someone else, it's not a good time to talk to them. When you walk by someone else, keep walking. Go straight to your seat and get there. Do this because it helps you in the long run. And here's why. If you don't go away from your desk to talk to someone, this helps you. Going away from your desk to talk to someone during transition gets your brain immediately off track because probably whatever you're talking about is more interesting than whatever's going on in school. And I get that. All teachers do. However, in order to stay focused, in order to learn, you want to keep your brain as distraction-free as possible so you can make the choice to not talk to that person as you walk by. Just go straight to your seat. Because your goal all the time when you make a transition, you want to be ready to go before the teacher is. That way, your brain has time to switch gears and be ready to learn. For all of us, when we go through from one thing to the next, it takes our brains a little time to switch over to the other thing that we're doing. If we go from doing one activity to another thing, our brains need a few seconds to adjust. Now, if you think about the way that works in school, if your brain is still trying to adjust to the next thing, but the teacher's already started talking, your brain's not ready to learn. And then if we think about everybody else in the class, it's like everybody started a race and you started five seconds behind everybody else. And now for the rest of the period, you're trying to race to catch up. And that's probably super frustrating. But you could do things to change that so you wouldn't get so frustrated. All you have to do is control your behaviors during that time of transition to make sure your brain is ready to go before the teacher. So transitions between classes, same deal. The faster you can get to the next class without running, the better it is for you. The faster you can be in your seat when you're in the class, the better it is for you. Because all you're doing is giving your brain time to adjust. And the more time your brain has time to adjust and be ready to learn, the faster and easier you will learn, and the easier school will be for you overall. Doing these things gives your brain time to switch gears give your brain time to switch gears, you will learn better. If you're ready to go before the teacher is, your brain can switch gears, and then when the teacher starts talking about something new, you are ready to learn. If you wait until the last second, or worse yet, you're like get slow getting your stuff out, or you're still talking to someone, or still having like one of those like crazy eye conversations with someone where you're just staring at them across the room and you're both not paying attention, all you're doing is hurting your own learning because you're not ready to learn. The teacher's talking. They're telling you things that you're going to need to know in order to understand stuff that's coming up for the rest of the period. And if you miss that stuff, you're behind for the rest of the day. Good luck learning. The reason people have trouble learning a lot of times is just because they don't control their behaviors. If you just make sure you're ready to go and ready to learn before the teacher is, life's going to be so much easier for you. So for this assignment, what you're going to do is post an answer to this question. You're going to post a public question. Why do fast and quiet transitions in class and between class, why does that help you? What benefit could you get out of doing that, you personally? So post your reply by hitting the reply button. Post it right here. All right.
Good work.